This one's really loose, so. Alright, let me get. Alright, just let me get some more plastic. Just dry the bed. Yeah. Yeah, see, I can turn this one with my hand. Yeah, we should have brought some never seize over. Yeah. Then we'll change it back. That way it'll. Alright, go yeah. ahead. I believe you just out. tip it out, right. yeah. I would say try and go up and back, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I guess just swing on over. Over just a little. Oh, down. Now come uh, swing the arm out more. Come my, come my way with the arm. Kind of lift up a little. Yeah, there you go. Now bring it back a little bit more, and kind of go down. A little bit more. Okay, now just come straight back. Go down just a little. Uh, yeah, maybe just go straight back. Yeah, do that. Okay, now you're good. Running out. There it is. Yeah, a lot easier than what I thought it was going to be, actually. You get it snugged up, whack it a few times. Draw it down. I mean, not stupid fucking.
has two truck cars, so he's going to the third one. There's the fourth one, and I think he's got two more besides that. Oh, semis? Yeah. Huh. Welcome back to Werner Farms. So today we're down here on the river farm and uh, along the Kankakee River. We're working on uh, cleaning the ditch out between the north field and what we call the south of the lane field, which is right here, this bean field. Dad's running the excavator right now and uh, we actually just switched buckets uh, about an hour ago. And first time we've had the ditching bucket on since we bought it and first time we've ever had the uh, uh, other bucket off since we bought this. We actually bought this 225 DLC back, uh, I believe back in 2012. And uh, this came from uh, the upper UP, almost up into Canada, almost practically, up in northern part of Michigan. It was way up there. And uh, we bought it for a really good deal. We bought it from the county that was up there. And uh, actually they've had the ditching bucket uh, since we bought it and we actually just shortly found out about the ditching bucket a while back after we bought it and we were after this for quite a long time and just shortly this past year uh towards the end of last year we actually were able to buy it from them so we're pretty happy to have both the original bucket uh that went with this excavator originally and now we can actually clean ditches now on our correctly I guess you can say for ourselves and the, some of our neighbors who need it so uh, the Kankakee River actually sits clear over there we actually have a lane built up along there there's actually my uh, buddy's uh, duck blind sitting right there since he does does a little bit of duck hunting out here the pumps actually sitting back over there so the pictures you guys saw on Instagram that's uh, essentially where the pump is where I was taking those uh, essentially, this is about 300 acres of ground here that covers uh, from half mile to half mile. Essentially, it's a big square. And uh, actually, this whole north field was completely underwater almost. You can kind of see where the water is at for a long time because you, can, you can't really see where the cover crop is. So uh, I'll probably go ahead and get the drone up in a little while and uh, shoot some drone footage of this. and. Uh, Maybe later, I don't know for sure when they're going to spread fertilizer on this, but at some point, either maybe today, maybe the first of next week, they'll be spreading fertilizer here, so I'll be sure to get some footage of that along with some other uh, footage of them spreading fertilizer on some other fields as well. So what I'd like to also mention that this isn't our low boy. Um, this isn't our uh, truck either. We actually had a neighbor move the excavator for us and uh, we actually uh, work on a deal with him about getting screenings from us that we get from the corn and uh, in exchange for that he moves our excavator whenever we need a move so we actually brought the torch down here just in case to uh, uh, just in case if we needed to heat, heat some of the bolts up that were on this bucket so this was our uh, bucket that we had on it um, we're actually going to probably do a little bit of welding on the bottom of it just to kind of do a little bit spot welding on it just to uh, support it a little bit better so uh, otherwise I mean we'll probably put this back on and go along this edge of the field here and uh, probably go on the other side of the ditch bank over there and uh, do a little bit of work with this bucket and otherwise we'll probably just go back to the farm and do a little bit of work back there and then they'll get moved back down to uh, the woods that were taken out on one of our fields which I'll do a video on that probably sometime over spring break <clears throat> spring break here so uh otherwise uh i'll go ahead and probably get the drone up sometime yeah.
I figured I'd come up here and show you guys exactly where the river is since I didn't really uh, point it out too well for you guys. So here's where the river is. This is the KKP River. This is up north, up, up that way, and that's headed south. This is where our discharge pipe is for our pump ditch. Our pump ditch actually sits over there, and we have a little cutout sitting right over there, so just in case the water gets a little too high out here for the water table out here in the field, we can actually bring in a 24-inch uh, back-end pump and uh, pump out into the river while this is pumping also. So there's our pump uh, in our pump ditch. We've actually dipped this out uh, with our actual older bucket. Uh, the bucket that originally came with the excavator uh, that we've been using on this before we bought the ditching bucket We dipped that out a little bit uh, Work on both both sides of the ditch because you can actually access this inner part of the field here Because this actually was farmed at one time a long long time ago, but we just put this in the CRP program for set-aside acres and uh, we actually cleaned this all up a little bit better. And... Yep, so pretty much today we are just working on cleaning a uh, ditch over there. And otherwise, uh, not, too much, not too much else is going on. So uh, otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll try and keep you guys updated as much as I can on what's going on. Sorry my hair is kind of a little bit messed up. I rode over here on the four-wheeler, so my hair is kind of all out of sorts. But... Uh, and uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video then.